Located in Decatur, Illinois, First Christian Church has been utilizing technology to aid their ever-growing congregation and enable worship from anywhere. I had the opportunity to talk with and get the full systems run down with production manager and beard king, Fred Sauerman. What's up, Fred? All right, 15 minute tour. Let's do it. Let's do it, all right, here we go. Up the... Uh, so where are we going now? So uh, first spot up to the balcony where we have front of house happening. Uh, this is the original sanctuary uh, when the building was built in 96. And we've modified it a little bit since then. So uh, this is front of house for the room. Uh, audio stations, lighting stations, all that fun stuff. And so, this is one of the things that I, I thought was kind of the coolest. Integrating the old with the new. Can you tell me about how you're doing that? Yeah, so uh, we've started using Dante on a lot of our, um, in a lot of our systems. Um, and you're actually getting ready to integrate it with video next, but yeah, Dante's been super useful, especially using uh, an M7 still. Um, being able to integrate that uh, with all of our um, with all of our audio systems, uh, being able to send it to Pro Tools over quarantine, we did a lot of that. It was all multi-tracked into Pro Tools uh, straight off our M7, so that was useful. So yeah, so we're still we're gonna rock the M7 for a while, I think. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a beautiful board. You've got all your faders, which not having pages is fantastic. And then you're clocking everything with the uh, the Big Ben? Yeah, there. yeah, our Big Ben is our master clock for that, um, just to kind of keep things uh, a little warmer than uh, the clock in the M7. So that's been that's been nice yeah. to have, definitely. Then coming down here, got your uh, your kingly talkback mic. Yeah, the, the bedazzled talkback, that's kind of a fun inside joke that some people did around here for me. So cool. Um, yeah, I get made fun of the, for that one a lot. Then moving down <coughs> here, you got. Yeah, so got we're here? using uh, we're using Campsys for um, our lighting control uh, surface. Um, we got into that uh, about uh, six or seven years ago with their software and um, have started integrating some of their control surfaces. Um, been super useful uh, uh, for our growing lighting infrastructure. Uh, ETC is kind of our main hub for uh, control and distribution on our lighting systems. So um, yeah, it's been great. We've got some Eric Nelson fixtures, uh, some DWs in the air. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of, there's a smattering of different things that we use on any given weekend in here. Nice. And then this was something that I hadn't seen done for quite a while. Can you tell me about your Crestron system? Yeah, so our, uh, our video routing is done via a Crestron uh, unit. Um, we run two rooms on any given weekend and they are, um, they're linked via fiber, uh, so we can route any input to any output uh, in both spaces. Uh, so in here we have about uh, six to seven displays that we have to route content to. Um, so we do all that via the touch interface uh, on the Crestron unit. Um, and then down in our other space, uh, we um, can take some of those inputs and send them to other outputs in there. Um, but the main hub of our video switching that we do is actually upstairs in the next room. Let's go take so, a look at that. All right. All of our camera switching is done from up here. Currently we have uh, six cameras we're switching any given weekend. We're actually about to go into a video overhaul um, that's going to add significantly more inputs on stage, uh, more outputs up here. Um, so it's going to include, uh, we're getting a new switcher, um, 
some more, uh, we're changing out some of our lenses, running new, pulling new lines for um, new patch points on stage. We're adding a patch bay up here for uh, patching those cameras in where we need them. But outside of that, uh, there's not much else that's changing up here. We have our switch station, we have a couple of remotes, um, and then pro presenter boxes running content to multiple screens. We do, you know, for King and lyrics, things like that. Um, and then uh, our Pro Tools rig is up here. We do all of our um, audio capture for the weekend. And then uh, take that and send to a hardware encoder for our streaming uh, situation. Um, and then that goes out to the web. And actually this week, I think we're installing fiber, a dedicated fiber line for our streaming encoder, which will be nice. That is nice. Fiber's great. I do love fiber. Got your Yamaha monitors. Yep. Love yep. those guys. They and for all your networking stuff, you're running Cisco, correct? Yeah, yeah. All of our switch, all of our switches are Cisco. Um, it's been pretty uh, reliable for us for a lot of what we're doing. And then so you're running the, the Roland V800 HD for your switcher, right? Correct. Uh, we're, that's actually going to be upgraded in this next phase uh, to, it's another Roland switcher. It's a 1200. Um, so that's got the control surface, which with the external rack uh, for all the patching down there. So that'll be nice to have a few more mix engines available. Plus that. you get some cables off the desk. And we get some cables off the desk, which is even better. Yep. Clean workstations. You mentioned your cameras before. Mm -hmm. You gonna take a look at those? Yeah, let's go look. All right, so um, we've got a couple of Panasonic uh, P2 uh, 1080 cameras for our main uh, camera positions. Um, with uh, Verizon hand controls on those. Uh, and that's all run uh, via SDI. Back to some patch points throughout the room. Uh, the, these two cameras actually used to be at the back of the room, um, but we moved them in quarantine so we could uh, have better um, shots, more dynamic shots. Uh, Soon we're gonna put we're gonna put new, uh, longer lenses on them so we can go they can go back to the positions at the back of the room. We can still get some of that some of those dynamics back. So we have two of these. We have a couple of remote cameras hidden throughout the room, and then uh, for some of our lockdown shots, we've just been using some Blackmagic Cinema cams like the one up here on stage. I see a um, PTZ. Yep. Is that a Panasonic or a Sony guy you got That's over there? That's a Panasonic PTZ. Nice. Yep. We've got two of those in the room. So, and then, yeah, then a couple of uh, Blackmagic Cinema Cams. This is a- Prime lenses. This is a tall tripod, man. Yeah, it is. Mind taking that for a second? Absolutely. I'm 5'8". Oh, hang on, let me push record. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> it's ridiculous, this is so cool. I like actually, I like, I really like seeing the, the Blackmagic cameras in use, like on stage, because they're fantastic cameras. Yeah, no, it works really well for these lockdown shots. So definitely, definitely worth it. And then over here on stage, love the drum kit. I play drums, that's my instrument of choice. Ooh! The 404 Behringer. Yeah. I love this interface. We use that as a breakout for uh, sending tracks, so. And then you've got a MacBook up here running Ableton. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes, yes. And then uh, you're running Avioms for your distribution, but you have a plan yeah. to change those out, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, eventually going to, uh, long-term goal, long, long-term goal, is we'd have a separate console with a mix engineer for monitors, but for the time being, I don't think we'll get rid of personal monitors anytime soon. But, so we're gonna switch out to um, some Allen & Heath um, hardware for personal mixing on stage. Um, headphone amps sound better, controls are a little better, um, and they're compatible with Anet and uh, Dante, so as we move that direction, 
it'll be a useful tool, definitely. Nice. I love your kit. I love your kit. Yeah. I love your kit. It's a lot better than my little electric drum kit. Okay, so this is our second room, a um, little bit of a smaller space, our primary video venue, but layout's similar, so our volunteers can uh, have some famili familiarity when they work between two spaces. Um, using an LS9 down here. Uh, now this room's not fully Dante enabled yet, uh, but we are working that direction. Um, so LS9, iPad for a secondary surface, uh, which is helpful on this desk. Um, and uh, we do have some Dante enabled hardware down here. Um, we're running, we have one Dante card in this desk that runs into a Rio to give us just a few more channels of IO at front of house for local video and local audio and that sort of thing. And we run a Danley PA in here. This was installed in 2015. Um, works well in this space uh sounds pretty good too um so so that's the primary audio stuff in this room uh if we go down to lights we have we run campsus down here also um just a, a big fan of their software and the workflow um so we have a similar the same control surface down here that we do have in our other room um so uh volunteers can be familiar with our with our workflow that way. Um, we have uh, ProPresenter here. Um, obviously, since there's no cameras in this space, it's primarily for lyric playback, video playback. Uh, now, the big difference in this room um, with video is we have, uh, we do have another Crestron um, uh, matrix down here. And what that does is we get a fiber line from the other space. And so uh, since this is more of a video venue, we can uh, uh, do playback of the sermon uh, in this space at the right time. So we accomplish that where with uh, Grass Valley um, unit down here, and that's our glorified DVR. So we uh, tend to just scrub to the point of the sermon and then um, we'll route that. We have a large center display that comes down in front of the stage. So we'll route that output to the display and uh, we'll do message playback via video in here. Um, that's what this workstation is. There's a, a, a GUI, nice GUI interface that our video director down here can pull up and manipulate. Then we also have a, we have a small um, two channel video mixer down here just for if we need to do some some source mixing uh, on the fly, we can do that via that interface, which is very handy. Uh, it's I love it. It's so cute. Come in use a couple times. So, so yeah, that is the uh, reason Avion down here. I forgot to mention that on stage for monitoring. Um, very similar workflow in both rooms. Uh, just trying to keep it consistent as much as possible. So. Consistency is key. Yep, exactly, exactly. All right, well, thank you so much, Fred. This Absolutely. was fantastic. And uh, they're looking for a technical director. Yes, so we somebody are. to assist you. Mm -hmm. yep. So let's hope we can find them one. Yep. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Yeah, thank you.